Now let's draw some object together after recognizing the volume. The first is a pocket marker object whose whole form is a cube approximately 13 centimeters long and 1 centimeter in diameter. This part of the marker cap is another cube that is merged in the large cube. Don't worry about fitness right now and just practice the volume. In the following lessons, we will learn proportionality. We have to draw another small cube behind the marker. The lines are only in three directions, that is x, y, z. Well, now I see a thin dark cube that's in the pocket to put the marker. So try to rotate objects and look at the new different angles and draw on paper. Again the main cube. Perspective also makes the big cube more beautiful. Again, see a new angle of marker or other object and draw an angle from it. Oh, well, this angle is good. Let's draw in this direction as well. When you draw from a few angles, volume is easier for you to understand and your desire. Just remember, I black the marker cap to identify the direction. To think simple and draw the object in this original size, and not to draw the details. I draw this whole piece in detail and it contains three cubes. So we have a line cube and all the parts depended on it, like the building skeleton. Here I am drawing an exaggerated perspective to see that the perspective should be low. I will explain the perspective rules in full lessons for you. If the proportions aren't right, your object may look strange. So calculate the length and height of the volumes. What is the height of the marker length here? The small cube behind the marker should also fit perfectly. I have to draw even small lines correctly. What does this whole object look like? Is the size of this container spherical? Yes, you're right. The main volume is a spherical and the bottom is cylindrical in shape. I'm drawing a circle here. The circle is the same spherical shape. Well, I draw the bottom of the cylinder and attach it to two lines. There is a hole in the spherical part. Look at the opening of the container. That I have to draw in an ellipse. I also draw a circle as the container handle because it shows the shape of the container handle. When I draw a circle, it's completely by adding a handle to the container. Of course, the handle looks like a thin rectangle cube is rotated. This handle should also be seen in one volume. Now let's rotate the container again. Of course, from one point to view we can draw a different form. I look at the container from above. Here I attach the lower cylinder to the spherical part from above. I still see the object spherical and see hole completely like a circle. And I draw a small cylindrical shape for the opening. Here we have spherical volume and below the cylindrical spherical volume. Now I draw the circular handle and I draw a small cylindrical shape for the opening. So I will take notes. Here we have spherical volume and below the cylindrical spherical volume. 